Joseph Stalin ensures the loyalty of a general. Oh, we've got an anti-saboteur campaign. Reports from the latest major training exercises have shown a significant percentage of vehicles falling out due to mechanical failures, as well as recruits being injured. These reports have reached the desk of Comrade Joseph Stalin, who's greatly concerned about the possibility of sabotage by members of the armed forces. He wants to find out how these new tanks could suffer mechanical defects after just a few days in the field without maintenance. So we can have training activities curtailed which loses us army experience, training time, equipment experience cost for a year, but reduces political paranoia by 10 and increases support for the opposition. Or we lose 60 political power and lose 10 uh, paranoia, or rather gain 10 paranoia. Hmm. Seeing as this is a temp temporary modifier and it's only for a year. I tend to take them. Yeah, same. Um, especially as we're at 40% paranoia already. We'll curtail it then. Yeah. And we're going to increase it ever more um, every time we want to try and take territory. But for that, we need political power. And uh, our stability is actually lowering. Oh, our stability is actually heavily lowering, low, lowering our political power again. Well, that doesn't sound should have gone. Maybe we should have gone for the stability, dude. Um, uh, the industry you're building, it doesn't happen to be in Odessa, does it? Uh, it's all over the place. I don't usually like just like cheating. It's like, we're in Odessa, so we're going to build everything in Odessa. Uh, although Odessa is actually one of the candidate places. Alright, I'll put it in Odessa. <laughs> and check Cassie for that matter. We are paused again, if you would like to do the honors. If you're ready to unpause, that is. I don't even remember pausing it that time around. It's probably for the... Oh, Stalin is trying to ensure the loyalty of a uh, general. He is certainly trying. We yep. actually have 28% civil war support. I just noticed that. Considering Water. you start with, like, three as the Romanovs, that's quite high. Yeah, you start with 10% as the right. So, apparently the left is the easiest civil war to go for. Apparently. Oh, man. All of those infiltrations are well expensive. They're like five in Siberia. Mm-hmm. I think the most expensive was, like, a 15 so yeah, we're really going to not start with a lot of territory out here. Well, hopefully we'll have some really interesting popular uprisings as well. That would be good. The Stalin constitution is being done. When the Civil War starts, the centrists will gain the modifiers from the Stalin Constitution focus. I'm really excited to see what modders do with the uh, this system where you can have like two focus trees going on at once. In the the na the my instant theory was the American Civil War in Kaiserreich. That would be where I think it would go on. You I have would... Reed, Reed, because um, they already kind of have that going on, but like a more officialized way of doing it. The American Civil War um, for Kaiserreich would be epic. Uh, we've got another anti saboteur campaign this time for the Air Force, and it's another temporary one year. Yeah, just take it. 20% reduction. It's quite nice. Down to 18% paranoia, and that's going to go down by another 10. Um, once this, we've been, once we've infiltrated the NKVD. God, I'm going to buy some land next, I think. Um, which is going to put it up. Let's get uh, Kurtz gain crane.
Games of the Olymp 11th Olympiad. Jesse Owens won all the gold medals. Congratulations. 30% paranoia. It's ticking up again. It, well, it's because I just uh, nabbed some territory. Yeah, now he's doing a crackdown in Ukraine. <laughs> So he's stealing the province just below... Oh no, that's us. Which one's he stealing? Please don't be Kiev. I'm not sure which one he's stealing. And in Old World Blues, it could also be used for the Legion Civil War. That's true. Mm -hmm. And some brothers. Oh, and... Still. And the house. Yeah. Mr. Mr. House game. And Mojave Brotherhood. Just all of them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's going to get some very, very heavy use. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got I've... another event. Conspiracy in the Academy. An anonymous informant has revealed the existence of a group of students in one of our most prestigious military academies. So we can lose 10 fleet coordination... 10 naval expertise, 25 naval leader cost, and 15 commander as advisor cost. This reduces paranoia by 20, though. It's, it's difficult, isn't it's it? It's for the Navy. I mean... It's the Navy. Let the Navy suffer. You heard it here, folks. Midge says the Navy should suffer. The Russian Navy should suffer. No, you didn't say that. You just said, let the Navy suffer. I heard you. Know, in any other game, that would be quite different. <laughs> we got you on record, Mr. Wreckers, Avatar's industry, or do we sway the railway workers for supply hubs? Ooh. When we start the war, I'm going to sway the railway workers for supply hubs, I think, next. That would definitely be useful. Paranoia is only 4%. Nice. Yeah, also, this one only increases it by 5 so... Done. Japanese provocation at our border. As part of maintaining the demarcation demarcation line on the border between us and Japan, a work party was sent out to check the demarcation markers near Lake Kazan. When approaching the border, the work party was taken under fire by the local Japanese outpost. We've lodged a formal diplomatic protest, but the Japanese ambassador maintains the work party was sent to move the markers to allow us to claim more territory. Unacceptable. So it looks like Japan's going the anti-Russia route. Good. He lied. If we get 25 political power, I can nap Kiev. Well, I don't have anything else to spend it on, so it's all yours. Yeah, well, I've got lots of things to spend it on. We just don't have enough. I'd love to be um, expanding, say, the, the NKVD military branch as well, but no, we need the territory, I think. I think grabbing Kiev is a good bet. Kiev and uh, Dynoportrovsky. I, I apologize to anyone from the Ukraine or Russia as I butcher the Slavic tongue. How dare you? Oh, sure, I know. It's... Stalin's ensuring the loyalty of a general. Who did you get last time? I didn't get a pop-up for oh, that. I'm just up... You can't... You don't. You have to go thing. You got Alexander Gorbachev. I did get a pop-up, because in the Romanov game, he got Rokotovsky. Oh, interesting. I've, I've not seen pop-ups. Hmm. Yeah, and he got a bunch of admirals, but you don't yeah. inherit any of those as the Romanov, so I was just like, whatever. Yeah, he kept using... Uh, oh, we've got the border conflict going on right now. There we do. So we do. Quick! 
with Meritsov in charge. Bulgarian government right. condemns Imro. Okay, this one gives me political power. I think I'm gonna have to go for that. They have more combat width than us in this fight. 75 to 54. I didn't think that was possible. Oh no, it's how much they use. Never mind. I'm reading it wrong. 80 is still the maximum. Ugh, Stan's about to start the Great Purges! Oh, no. What, already? What have yep. you done? First Moscow trial. First Moscow, he's doing the first Moscow trial event. It's 60 days away. Oh, that's fine. I'm surprised he was able to. Paranoia's not high enough. I thought that only happened when he got 70. No, this is a focus tree event. Uh, this ah. is the uh, the Zionovet Zion Terrace Center. Right. Yeah, because if paranoia gets over 75, great purge events may occur, and if it goes over 90, you may start the civil war. About to win the border conflict, and there we go. One times 35% cost reduction for a land doctrine. Following a clash between Soviet and Japanese forces in the border area around Lake Kazan, the Japanese ambassador in Moscow has requested a ceasefire. Several Japanese assaults on Soviet positions failed, with heavy casualties during the battle, raising concerns to the Japanese military about the capabilities of their forces. Conspiracy among civil servants. Understaffed bureaucracy, this is another temporary penalty. But it's political power gain minus 10%, construction speed minus 10, and political advisor cost plus 25%. But we reduce political paranoia by 20, or we can ignore it at a cost of 60 political power and 10 paranoia increase. Uh, I, uh, uh, mm. Paranoia would drop what? just to 7%. This buys us so much time. Yeah, I think we need to buy, buy as much time as possible. Done. Time has been bought. But at what cost? Is Mitch not streaming his side? No, but he is recording it. No. I am recording it, and I'm probably going to cut it down. Be only because I've already been on two live streams today. Um, I didn't want to put any of my lights on. And... <laughs> also, we'd be dividing the same audience for essentially the same view. So to me, it makes sense to do something slightly different with this. That's fair. Because, yeah, I'll probably just upload the unedited version again onto YouTube, as I usually do. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. Though one of these days I really should look into actually editing YouTube stuff, because I'm pretty sure the views would be much higher. Oh, hell yeah. Um, it's just the cost related with doing it. Because I don't want to do it myself. Yeah, exactly. It's that. It's, it's that, or you do what I did and try and do it all yourself, and then burn yourself out <laughs> massively. So I, I did a massive. Yeah, I did a massive stint of doing edited YouTube videos, and then the rewards were reaped like six months down the line once I was already burnt out. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like I've tried to work out what the cost relation would be because if views goes up, but then so does the cost of creating those videos. Because uh, mm -hmm. you have to pay the editor, and I'm just not sure that I'd recoup it. It would be like a probably a year before I would see the return on investment. Yeah. Which is arguably, for us who are now like Twitch folks, funding something for Twitch with yeah. that kind of money. Whether that be setup related, gear related. Like, arguably, you could probably, for the same price as you'd get five videos, get someone to, you know, animate you new intros and stuff for your stream. Um, yeah. And considering you are yourself in a position where your growth is still good and your viewership is great, it, you know, yeah, it makes better to increase. Increase the viewing experience of the lovely people already here. 
Exactly. Crackdown Ukraine just ended. What did he break? I'm trying to see. Uh, he grabbed Vintinska. But you can get Kiev. Do it. Yeah, get Kiev. Right now. Yay. Yeah, doing Kiev. And we're about to get 100 more political power. Sweet. So I'm going to use that to grab, like, probably uh, and possibly try to increase our stability. Deny Potrovos. Potrovos. <laughs> Can't say this name. Dniprotrovsk. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm guessing. Um, First Moscow okay. trial. Following characters will be purged and removed from the game. Smirnov. Damn it! I was Shelop just about to do it. Popnov. Sokolnov. Zinonyev and Kamenev. But per paranoia goes down by fifty. Yeah, I was about to break those guys out of prison. Oh no. <laughs> Too late now, I'm afraid. That's quite bad. Okay. Um... Okay, we're going to approach Mikhail uh, Tukhachevsky. Probably wise. Awesome. Yeah. Try and get him in. in. Him in. How was the taco? Attacker. Attacker. Uh, let's 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 forge a satisfactory production report. One percent paranoia. Nice. Yes, nothing. Is, nothing is going on, Stalin. Ignore. <laughs> it's it is fine. Just sign this piece of paper. Yes, good, Stalin. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about here. Spain wants military access. Fine. I don't know. They asked that of me in my previous game as well. Is it an opinion thing? Don't know. Spain's actually doing okay in this civil war. They've got a pocket up near Burgos. They're about to close the southern pocket. They'll probably still have to deal with the um, anarchists around Barcelona, which will lose them a chunk, but it's actually going quite well for the Republicans. Dni Protpet Rovsk. 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 You can just say Dni Pro. It was renamed in 2016. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the Russians were having problems with that too, or the Ukrainians rather. Okay, Stalin just gained Kherson. So, the, the connection between the mainland and Crimea, which is a little bit annoying because that's behind us. Mm hmm. But I'm gaining gaining the major city areas here. Those are more valuable. Yeah, I think so. Because, yeah, if you keep going up the river, we can use that as the front line against the main attack, and then we can consolidate anything behind us. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just trying to get the city center, and then I'm going to go for Moisier, and then try and head for Minsk. Mm-hmm. And then once Minsk leads, swords for everyone. Oh, he failed getting a general. Oh, I wonder who. I don't know, just double check me, I haven't missed one this time. Oh no, he got a uh, Kunzatov. Commando. And Max Rettier. Okay, he's got a few generals. But he failed at That's him. funny. Vasily Kutsnitsov was my best general in the um, <laughs> Romanov game because he defected to me. Oh, really? That's funny. I was like, I recognize that name. Yep, same guy. <laughs> Max Reiter. I feel like Reiter was as well. Yeah, he was. Stalin's going for all of the uh, traitors from last time. Well, 25% support as well, which is really nice. So we are. 
9% popular sport too. I'm going to try and get us some more military support after this one. Right you are then. Kuchevsky actually brings other troops and Lord Generals. Yes. That's right, that's cool. Yeah, like if you get the big name guys, they will bring extra troops and sometimes you can also like raise extra troops on the um, decision screen. Like if you get uh, Semen Semenyov, then you can get all the Cossacks and you can go through Manchuria and just click on all the buttons in Manchuria to get all the Cossacks there. Oh, that's really cool. And they just got um, Crimea. Curse on and Crimea now. Mm -hmm. Add five NKVD divisions that remain loyal when the Soviet Civil War starts. I feel like a couple of curve powers um, needed elsewhere. Yeah, I would agree. Well, we're almost up to, uh, we're going to be up to about 50% paranoia as well. We can choose another state. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mindful of the, the uh, paranoia though. Hey, construction two already. Heck yeah. Uh, divide, divide attention to the military or military support, do you think? Um, well, up to you. Part of the benefit mm -hmm. of that bypasses the terrorist center, which he's already done. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to be clipping quite high into the uh... no I think I'm actually going to do this one first oh no that, that, that's actually that fires it no we're going to do this one military support going for military support oh yeah ignite the flames starts the civil war <laughs> don't think we're quite ready for that yet no definitely not I'm trying to remember how high I got support in the uh, Romanov game. I think I got it to like 59% or something like that. Oh, we can't go to Mosia, apparently. Why? I don't know. It's just not there. Admiral Philip Okabritsky, accused of treason. He can take the fall for the glory of the Union. Yeah, I think he can. Just get that paranoia down. Reduces paranoia by 10. Five Navy leaders get cowed, but they're naval. Retreat decision chance goes down by 25%. And support from the Navy goes up. No place in the Navy for such men. You see, this <laughs> is how... He's currently trying to ensure loyalty of an admiral right now as well. <laughs> yes. yes, please spend your time on that, Stalin. It was 52%. Okay. I knew it was over half. Punker Waller and Blurred. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Raiden Naden and Shirley Only Mikey. Thank you also very much for the resubscriptions. Raiden Naden coming in with a 20 month resub and. Surely only Mikey coming in with two months. Primary sub, thank you. We're here. Is it Mikey or is it Mickey? I wasn't sure about that. Can you get 100% uh, and get a bloodless coup? Can you, sorry, what for the bloodless coup? Can you get 100% civil war support for a bloodless coup? Uh... I don't know if that gives you a bloodless coup. So I know I know how you got the bloodless coup for the other way, which is the um, organized uprisings in the country. It's it's something that only the right can do. 
by the looks of it, uh, which is where it says like plan for the coup and the clandestine cells. Because I think in the timeline, basically all the possible heads of the NKVD hate Trotsky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't think he can do the bloodless coup. Uh, 37. We are still doing industry. Conspiracy in the Academy. Air Force. Oh, this is a permanent one. Max airspeed down 10%, ace generation down 25%, and air mission efficiency down 15%, but reduces paranoia by 20 uh, It's permanent one? Yeah, it's a permanent. Um, hmm. oh, uh, is there no the way alternative to undo those eventually? Sorry? There is a way to clear those eventually, isn't there? Probably down the air tree. I never found a way of doing it in the Romanov game, but I will admit I did not look too closely. Because the only penalty I had was the Air Force. I, unfortunately, I, the, the thing is, not bringing it down, I think, would put us into risk of civil war launching range. Yeah, because we political power goes down by 60 and political paranoia goes up by 10. Mm -hmm. Or we can reduce paranoia by 20 if we just take it. I think we're just going to have to take it. All right, then, Mr. Air Marshal. We're taking it. Sucks. I'm being thrown under the bus here for the glory <laughs> of the Soviet Union. Hey, he's already gutted, like, the entire Navy, so shush you. <laughs> I wonder if there is a way to remove those. It's called anti-Soviet thinking. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's that's rough. 